You're gonna have to excuse me, I ain't got my makeup quite on yet. <laughs> Welcome to episode two. It's so noisy. Loud noises. So basically what we did was we just, we just pulled off on the side of the road and slept in the truck. Sleeping in the truck was actually pretty bad. I think it was actually pretty bad. It was burning up in there. I turned the car on, like just for some AC, like I fell asleep. And then I woke up and I was like, wait, the car's running. Burned through like a fourth of gas. This is beautiful Lake Palestine. We got beautiful sunrise for us this morning. stumps. I almost took off a lower unit on my last boat. I had out here legit right over on that side of the bridge. This lake, I'm gonna have to idle all the way over to where we're gonna fish because it is so stumpy. So many, so many big oak trees, big, just huge trunks on these things. Oh my gosh. Boom. This is the name of the game right here. Straight flipping. Dump. Yes! <laughs> yes! First Texas fish! It's like 10 inches long. <laughs> That was a definitely weird hook set. Right, <laughs> Probably keeper. Probably 15 inches, maybe. Shut up, man. Pound and a half, two pounds. Shut up. Decent fish. I'm not oh. oh! Shoot. Did you see it? Dude. What are you paying attention? Oh, shit. Good. See this guy's right here? You see this? When the hook bends, this is not a good hook. Not a good hook. Gosh. That is crap right there. I knew there was going to be one right there. Set the hook. Came off. Knew there was going to be one right there. Good one. Good one. Good one. Oh, shoot. Oh, we thought it was so much bigger. Oh, my gosh. Dude. He, he, he legit just goes. I don't think we're gonna catch a monster doing this. <laughs> I thought it was a monster. Was like, yeah, that's like a pound. I got wrapped around that branch and I was like, oh my god. Oh. Gosh, scared me to death. I ain't gonna lie, I got kinda light. I got light headed. I got so excited. <laughs> it's pretty nice. I'll buy one at a time, because I just 20 bucks. Oh, small Trigger! one. Trigger! Gosh, up in it. Up in that here. was kind of cool. That was cool. Up in here. That was up. up that was up way up in that Fish bush. Running, bro. I'm about to pull out the female. <laughs> Babies. That's either fourth or fifth small one we pulled out of here, and we've hooked a hooked a couple two and a half three pounders, but we can't seem to 
Dude, what's with those dropping fish today? Can't seem to land them. Down, dropping down. <sighs> Nine twenty ish. Watch out. Oh, shit. That'd be a great idea when I was married to share, you know, save water, share with the wife. <laughs> Dude, that speed crawl is going to be funny now. I think it actually is. I need to dock. Ooh, oh, yeah. Slowest fall you can get. Good. Got him. Got him. It's another pretty small one, though. Gosh. I mean, a little bit better, but. Catch the same fish over and over, people. Man, I mean. I mean, like, that was just another shade pocket. That's just where they've been clinging to. They're gonna head down south in a sec. Fish a couple more shade pockets. If we keep catching these fish like this, I mean, we gotta go fish some docks, fish some deep areas, uh, do something different to catch some better fish. This is a chunk, though. Just, gosh, just so many dinks up here, even when flipping something big, too. Keep. Good. Oh, it's a better one. Woo! Yeah! Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's about 15 inch here. This man, look at this guy. He's about to pass out. I'm sticking a couple good fish in the shade pockets. Boom, baby! Boom! He didn't sleep last night. That's a quality fish. Quality fish. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the Instagram story. Get my line back in the water. I'm gonna go ahead, fish a couple of the shade right here, fish up to this point, and then we're gonna go ahead and head back to the boat ramp to fish the south end of the lake. Swimming it on the way out. Gosh. Better one. There we go. There we go. Up in these shade pockets. That's where they are, guys. I mean, these summer fish, they're trying to get away from this heat. God, it's just a good little point. It has some muddy water. We're dipping our craws, just a little bit of chartreuse. Just like that. Zoom speed crawl. We got a 3 8 ounce weight pegging it just offset shank worm hook there we go decent little dude come back just a little bit All right guys, so as you just saw, we uh, we flipped the whole morning pretty much. That's what we got our main bites on. A blow up on a whopper plopper, but really our main bites were just flipping those little bushes. Our biggest fish was probably about 15 inch or a couple pounds. And then we caught one or two, one and a half. And then most of them were just, just small, small baby fish. I mean, we just flip all the way back up in the shade pocket. You just feel the bite and you set the hook. And then on the hook set, that fish would just fly up out of the water because it's so small. We're gonna go ahead, head down south right now, probably focus on a dock bite, and then maybe go deep. But we don't have grass right now because again, I did sell my sell my HDS 8s, and we have his graphs, but the graphs don't fit onto my ram mount ball, mabob, jig, whatever you freaking call it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, head down south, try to get on a bigger bite.
Yeehaw. Shoot. Just rolled up. Spotty. Oh, Third cast. I didn't I didn't even have my camera rolling because I was rigging up a text rig right here. Quality spot shot to camera. Y'all know I'm cursed with spots on my channel. As soon as it hit the bottom, I reel twice and see it line just take off. I, I don't even know. I'm just I'm just like I'm just trying to rig up a Texas it's rig. Static. This man's like, it's like a two. Good fish. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. I don't know what to do. Oh, <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> My gosh. And Texas rig? Yeah. That's a good one. Let me get out of your way. I'm just trying to rig up here. I'm just trying to rig up. I thought he was hung for a sec. 44 seconds. Probably two and a half. We Two and a half, to... coming up on three. Getting away. Yes, yeah. yes sir. Yes, sir, Ray. Yes, sir. Atta boy. Here we go. All right, baby doll. That's what I'm talking about. Texas bass, dude. Good one. Good one. Shoot. 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 Oh my god. No, I got him. I got him. Oh my gosh. It's like two and a half. Maybe three. Gosh, that's the same spot. Those that spotty and then that other one. Don't jump. Don't jump. Got him. Let's go. God, there's so many quality fish out of that dock, y'all. Oh my gosh. He ate that. Thump, just like just like yours. Yeah. Spotty, then a quality one, and then another quality one. Probably two and a half. Coming up on three, but not quite. A good one under the dock. We'll get the release. But I mean, this is why we came to Lake Palestine. We started up north, caught some smaller ones under those bushes, and man, that was that was like three casts in the exact same spot. Um, we caught a spot, spotted bass, and then he caught another one that was a bit bigger, and then we got about the same size as the other one. Yes. Daddy? Is that a fish? If that's a fish, it's a giant. No, <laughs> not a fish. It's like scared. It's moving. Three pounder, bro. It's like a tree pounder. I was like, I had to do Good one, good one, good one. Is that even a bass? God, it's a bass, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh this is awesome. This is just awesome, y'all. My gosh, this is the next dock. Next dock, good one, good one. I might stay on the north end. Might stay on the north end. Boom, got him. <laughs> awesome, that's a three right there. Oh! Just right out from that dock again. Another good fish. Golly. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That's a good fish. You want to you wanna put a couple in the well? Maybe get some picks? Yeah, yeah. They're like over three or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, quality fish. Quality fish. Let's do this. I don't know. I got to pull a cold tag out of one of them. Yeah. And then I'll put them in the other side. Oh, you can put a cold tag on them? Yeah. Why? Look, oh, it's safe one. Plant. Safe cold tags, boys. We ain't hurting fish. Oh, we're about to be done. Sprinkler <laughs> on. Sprinkler. What the heck? What is it even doing? Oh, it well, uh, gets rid of the bird. Oh, dude, that's kind of cool. Find a bird, you find a bait. Find a bait, you find a bite. Great explanation of fish. The circle of life. Where you at, assholes? Got off. There he is again. Got off again.
Oh my gosh. Oh, it got off. That was a good one. He hurt my thumb. Ow. You hurt your thumb? Oh, yeah, he hurt my thumb. There you go. Oh, shoot. We double up. Let's go. I got a spotty. Freaking skinny spot. Oh, it's another spot. Dude, that's a spot. That's a giant. Bunk spot. Look at that. That's an average spot. That's a, <laughs> that is so skinny. It's like a paper. No my luck with spot. It's awesome. Spot. Just seems like these out these docks that are on the outside are just the key to key to getting bites. We just doubled up right there and on those last couple docks back at the other cove, it was the outside docks that were key. I think that's just the key of this lake right now on the summer bite. Alabama craw, zoom speed craw. Good fish today. Go ahead and put them back. All right, dudes. We're here on Palestine. Caught my fish. Figured I'd get one with the fish today. That's how we caught him. There he goes. Man, it's been a great trip. We came out on Athens, caught a couple fish that were pretty decent. I just caught three fish that were pretty decent and then came out here to Lake Palestine, started up north, caught some fish. I'm out of breath right now, God. And then went down south near the dam, went down there and caught some fish on some outside docks and then we came onto this cut, fished some of those outside docks right here and we just jumped in the water. It's a great time out here in East Texas. Some great lakes with some great looking grass. If y'all the time and money to go on a trip like this, dudes, come down. It's not that expensive. Just sleep in your truck, eat Whataburger, and use the app. Yes, sir. You heard it from him, Shoeless Ray. Thanks y'all yeah. so much for watching. Go check him out on Instagram and more importantly, YouTube. I'll have his link below in the description. Also, if you want $5 off your first Lucky Taco Boxes, I got that link in the description below also. Thanks y'all so much for watching, and we're gonna hit the road. Peace!